Yo, what's going on gamers and welcome back to the consortium if you're here for the first time welcome welcome Appreciate you guys stopping by the channel and tonight we're going to veer away from our uh, typical Fortnite videos guys We are going to do a little review on a game. I played the other night. It's a quite unknown game I got into the open alpha. It is coming out next year around the I would say second quarter 2018 um, it is, They say it's open alpha, but it's really more of like you had to get an invite and sign up for it a couple months ago Which I did the name of this game is deep rock galactic Now guys this game is actually pretty dang fun I was kind of like iffy on it because I'd watched some other videos myself I was trying to decide if I wanted to play this game, but I have to admit in the past I've been a fan of certain games like Minecraft seven days to die like games where you build and explore um some of them were pretty boring to me some of them were better i prefer the seven days seven days to die style over the minecraft style which i feel like might be kind of typical for most of an older crowd the minecraft is preferred by the younger crowd but when you look at deep rock galactic you kind of get a combination of the two so what happens is you drop into the earth uh your four dwarves uh, Apparently only dwarves mine when it comes to games and books and TV, whatever. So you drop down into the earth on this big drill. The first objective you have to do, at least in the alpha, is to mine a bunch of what's called Morakite. It is the only objective currently in the alpha. Obviously, they're going to add more later. Uh, but you have to find the specific material, and along the way, you will mine other materials. And while you're mining those materials, you will run into an alien species. Uh, they did do a good job with the aliens, which is one of the reasons I enjoyed it, is one, their pathing. They can go over, around, under, through, most anything. Uh, I should say not through because they can't just go through walls. Like, it makes sense kind of when it comes to physics. But they can climb up, down. You can't really barricade yourself. You've just got to be good at the fighting portion to not die, which a lot of games make it a little too easy to avoid dying, I feel like, uh, if you're good at the game. But this game did a good job of kind of balancing the fact that you got to be able to move around, you got to be able to fight, you got to be able to meet the objective while doing all these things. The game also did really well when it comes to being able to fulfill those objectives and the fact that you kind of need one of each class in the game. There are four classes. I don't remember all of them, but there's basically there's an engineer, there's an explorer, there's an attack class, and then there's one other class, uh, kind of like a support class. I picked the engineer class, which I thought is really fun. I always prefer the engineer type classes in games where you can build, you can build defenses like turrets. In this game, you're able to build turrets, you're able to build little platforms with a platform gun, which is very useful to get around the map when you're trying to mine in difficult spots. It also allows you to use a more powerful flare, which in this game, flares are very important because it's a very dark environment, and so you have to light it up yourself. You just can't see around, which kind of adds to the horror story feel of the game while it's also a mining slash exploration game. So definitely, if you guys are looking for a new game to try out, uh, it is going to be out early 2018. They haven't set a price yet. I assume it's going to be on a lower price point, at least from what I've seen in the alpha. I could be surprised though they may add a lot more to the game before it comes out which would increase the value but I would definitely probably say it'll be around the 15 to 30 dollar range and I think it's worth it uh, it's gonna be a great game where you can jump in with your buddies you can go down there there's four of you you explore you destroy you fight you have a good time you hop out when you're done and you're good to go uh, there is no PvP at least not currently so if you're into the PvP genre, I would, you'd probably stick away from this game. If you're into the PvE exploration, definitely take a look at it. You're going to like it. And that's it, guys. That's my opinion on this game. This is my kind of first review of the game. I'm going to play it some more and hopefully do more an in-depth review with a little more information on it. I appreciate you guys stopping by and taking a look at the channel. If you enjoy this type of review, please hit the like button. Please sub if you want to see more content like this. We're going to be doing more like this and not just Fortnite. I will still do my Fortnite videos, but I'd like to expand out a little bit. So hopefully you guys will like something like that. I appreciate all you guys, and I hope you guys all have a good one.